Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Getting Started. And today I'm experimenting a bit with a shader, as you can see it all looks quite neat. A short disclaimer that our scan to, uh, or build tool does not work with shaders because Optifine has, a since it's not open source, it's quite uh, difficult to support it. So we don't support shaders yet. That's why I placed the smelter building first. And there's always the smelter building. Just this re recipe here. There's an iron ingot in the middle, blanks around and the build tool on top. And as you can see, our builder is quite happily building at it already. So in the last episode, we built a town hall. So what happened was that the provider of the me medieval sch schematics, he changed the town hall. So I had to reposition it a bit and these kinds of things which I did between the videos and upgraded to level 2 so that was quite a hassle as well but I have to say it looks amazing so we have this kind of medieval wall around it you can go up the wall here you have the small towers looks like a throne room quite nicely as well and where this yes it has incredible underground area as well here looks like a special dining room so and while it levels up this is going to look more fancy with each level as well so I think this building looks really better than the last one but yeah be advised that if you have the medieval style on your server or client you might have to consider repositioning it because it has this, a similar size but a different town hall positioning so when I first started working it started taking out bits of my delivery man which I had to repair a bit but now I got it repositioned and it looks quite nice nice let's see our builder is nicely working here yeah it's, it's getting in the end we got a new citizen hired here in our... Yeah, you can see him running around here with his gold pants. We're going to need to give him some serious armors as we gave our coward Leela here. But she's nice with her armor now. She has a quite high level already. It's just 8 and our happiness in the colony is quite nice as well. Since we have two guards, higher level citizen huts, we have three level two citizen hats and one level one citizen hat so we got here the smeltery going up there and what I want to show you our wall is near completion now so the wall continued here until it hit the guard tower so let me show it to you it hits the guard tower here behind Whoop. and goes around here we did a bit of terraforming here. We'll finish this gap as well. Of video later. Oh, let me eat really quick. So it goes down here. I have a little stair here, so I can jump over to kill the barbarians on the other side. And it goes behind the colony, behind the cook as well, all the way up there. We're going to. So, and here it hits our little mountain. So I plan on moving it on the mountain into, what direction is this? East, into the east, and then cover some land to get some more space to build more buildings. And then we're going to close it after the lake here. So I want to include this lake. Maybe we even, I think, around the lake and then we close, the, close it in. So, so good positioning for the next car town would probably also be around where I'm standing right now. Yeah. There's this area here, it's going to be difficult. Probably even easier to build a wall out here. 
and then go like diagonally in this direction so we could put the guard tower around here this area is going to need a bit of terraforming still else it would be quite difficult to build it although I'd like to have this nice valley here it looks quite neat I have to say so builders finishing around here let's see those two he should be getting from the warehouse I believe we got a bunch of those going so the mine is quite productive our delivery man is running around quite nicely as well Steven is taking care of everything I finished this way here to our first town gate as well so okay let's see how everyone is doing the so warehouse is quite full of any types of goodies the lumberjack and the miner are bringing to us let's see how the cook is going uh, as well as sometimes the cook ends up starving which is quite bad he got a bow so I believe the a guard died around here let's see he got some fish in there no food in there so nice I think he is definitely the candidate for the next upgrade after because yeah that's not place I would like to eat on the the dirt floor so we definitely need to upgrade this so what else so about um, uh, shaders so if you're interested in continuing the video series with normal vanilla shaders just let me know so I will turn them off in the next video if you like to experiment please drop a comment in the comment box below so I know that I'm doing the right thing here let's build a little path in this direction in the last days we released a few additional versions on curse which will which are going to fix a bunch of issues we had so one of the issues we had was that our workers I would get a night that our workers especially the builder and miner they were a lot of time calculating the area under the building so they stood in a corner for a few minecraft games so on top of this we improved a lot in order to guarantee that he only scans the block he is going to need he's going to jump over the blocks he's not going to need which is going to make this much faster as well besides that we got some reports that smelters got is issues recognizing ores which we fixed as well going as I told you already the builder stores the stage he works in now so he will for example work until uh, this Y level and when you shut down the client and turn it back on he will continue around this position so the position might be a bit to the front or back because we only relatively store the position so we don't have to run a safe job every time he changes the position but this should make it also way more efficient especially if you play on single player and then you have to see your builder start all over again every time you log in which is quite a hassle so what the, ah, I wanted to finish the path around there then we added some minor changes one thing we did was fixing the reposition of the town hall just as an easy fix but we had a bunch of people complaining about that lately and we added a few of our extensions for the PvP upgrade for mine colonies so for example you can get certain loot drops now so there's a comment which is MC loot can and then the building you want like block hat town hall and then the level you want it and if you want it to be directly pasted for example if you execute that you're going to get a block in your inventory which will directly be 
pasteable. This doesn't work if you don't have cheats enabled and does not work on the server. So it only works for admins on the server. Which should enable your admins to give you loot drops or something like that. Which is quite interesting and I think gives an interesting experience as well. Especially in a PvP server where you could revert people for destroying towns or something like that. So where do we have more stone? No. That's, uh, some. Mm -hmm. No. But I think that might be just as much as we're going to need. Okay. Now, I think the smelter is... Oh, he's finished! Now, let's employ a new smelter. Wait, see. He's quite strong, not very intelligent. Let's go for it and hope he doesn't hit his fingers while he works. Now, he should quite already start... Yeah, he's requesting fuel and ore already. Now the smelter has some special abilities. Now that we're not going to need as much our tinker smelter anymore. Because the smelter also has the ability to double or even triple his ores. So since he's level 1 the chance to double his ores depends on his level. So on level 0 he's never going to double his ores. On level 1 there's a 1% chance. Level 2 a 2% etc. But on level 2 of the building level, the chance doubles. So if he's level 5, there will be a 10% chance, for example. Then on level 3, he's always going to double, double the ores. And on level 4 and 5, there's a chance to triple the ores even. So he might be on a higher level in our level town, more useful than a Tinker Smeltery for your colony. Because you're going to get a lot of ores out of him. And the other useful thing is that you're not going to have to do it. So he will request the ore, the ore will come via delivery man to him. Like you see here, he got the ore. I, for example, give him a case here. Oh, he got this request already, probably. Yep, he is running out there. And inside the smeltery. So he's going to smelt all your ores and the delivery man is going to bring them back. Now there's an other useful thing I can show you. Which is quite nice. Let not sure if he is able to do this on level one already. Let's see. So these barbarians, you know, see how many swords they drop us. Let's get these swords here, and even a gold one. Because the miner is able to undo these to their basic materials again. This is neat. So I give you those. Yeah, you see. So he's hitting it on his block. Yeah, he's not trying to destroy his block. He's actually undoing them. And he's going to get with a chance the material, the full materials out of it again. This is going to be quite useful if you have a lot of these barbarian drops. And again, most smelteries and other mods, they don't get it out of uh, weapons and swords. So that's as a bonus. He also does that for armor parts and he also does that for horse armor for example. So now let's see what else we're going to need. Ah this road I want to finish. Uh, here. I think it didn't get enough blocks. I really don't I got enough. Yep. Let's go back to the warehouse. <clears throat> hmm. Where are my blocks? I know I got some around here, but I get lost. Oh no, they're not supposed to be in here. Let's help this worker here in sorting. The sorting mechanism is not really good. So what it usually just does is to check for similar items and put them together. So all string he finds he will put in here because there's string already in here. 
if he doesn't find a chest with space with string in it, he will just put it in the emptiest chest he will find. Which is not perfect, but it's quite efficient. In the future we're going we're planning on having a special worker for that which orders the items and the warehouse and takes care of these kinds of things. But for now this will have to suffice. Where are my stone blocks? Here they are. Nice. Okay. Where was my road? And and other other news are that now all with their regular getting started series, all our twenty five dollar plus patrons will be able to participate in the series. So if you're twenty five patron dollar patron, you can just write to me on discord and I can invite you the next time I'm going to film you can like in last episode like Asher hang around with me in the colony I swear I won't comment you around and yeah join in with me join in with the audio ask some questions you have about the mod I think that would be something quite interesting for these videos as well so I'm not having this crazy long monologue alone here well, it's getting late already, I think the sun is going down. Like, I didn't have any barbarian attacks anymore because they get stuck outside of the wall. And quite often even outside of the loaded area when I run into this direction to find them. And I had to get some iron ingots to get some armor for our new guard. Your security guy is Haley Miller. You got only women employed employed in the business, so you can see different to other mods where female workers are just standing around doing nothing. Our women are empowered to work in the chops of their dreams. Ah yes, burn these saplings. We really don't need those. <laughs> gonna steal some so if you steal the ingots from he here he's not going to double them so you can fill this in here without a problem but if you steal it here he's not going to double them but since he is a low really low level anyway this is not going to have any effect on him so that's not so bad although he will level fast slower when I do that so I should let him do his job and interfere less. Good. Can I sleep yet? No. And go. Now I can sleep. So always when this message comes, you can be sure that you can sleep, because we trigger this message exactly the moment you're able to sleep, to avoid that you sleep before this message hits, and this way you would never get any barbarian attacks. It would be nice, but. If you really don't want any preparing attacks, you can and you should turn it off in the configuration and not go around it in a cheaty way. Now, I think it's coming along nicely. Let's see if our builder needs anything for this build. Looks good. Let's see in this list. I think we should have all of these in our town hall in our town hall yes in our warehouse here let's see how the cook is going I think you should have a nice floor now and as I told you guys in the last update we have a developer working on having the citizens eat and make noises so that looks way better even if I don't like these parts so much it looks way better already so I think that I feel more comfortable eating here definitely. So the next updates citizens will actually sit down to eat which will make them and make noises 
and the developer told me today that he's practically finished with it so only needing some cleanup and some testing yeah die all of you so this wall is doing a good job although after some time they will eventually teleport through it oh nice I got a diamond sword now these barbarians they rarely they have some rare good drops and uh, chief barbarian has a chief barbarian sword we get on some secure land here yep yes this is the chief sword and I think it has similar attack damage as the normal sword yes same attack damage but it gives hit mobs lit levitation when you hit them for a short time period and way better it gives all barbarians close to you a effect which allows you to see them the spectral arrow effect to be exact which is quite useful if you're trying to find the barbarians haunting your colony especially if you don't have journeymap installed so journeymap shows it as well oh I almost fell down here let's get this in no barbarians coming from this direction either now let's get back in our colony he's working nicely on deconstructing tools you got this forge filled as well let's see what did you get nothing hmm. um, I think that's all for this episode like I said I'm going to do some terraforming around there I think the next episode would be nice so we can set up ourselves a nice farmer I've thought about putting the farmer behind the cook here let's go there where we see these farmers of the NPC village I, have, I will have to clean up a bit here but I think around in this area here we have quite a, quite a bit of space to build a farm and when we got a farm we can also place a baker so I think it's quite an interesting development our city is taking here we can decide with the baker farmer and the restaurant I'm going to build a library as well and we got on the other side of the colony the other buildings like the smelter and the miner I'm going to build the herders maybe more in this direction and yeah that's everything I think for this episode I'm going to see you in the next episode bye bye everyone